Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm here with a new look for you. This one is inspired by the lovely young ladies who get up every day and go to their job in that cubicle with no windows and ugly fluorescent lighting. So, to start this off, I am going to knock down my redness with a yellow toned foundation. I wouldn't, I would normally use a green concealer to color correct, however, fluorescent lighting will make the green stand out like neon. So if you work in an environment where they use completely fluorescent bulbs, do not use any green or purple color correctors. Go with, instead with a base foundation that's a little bit warmer than your natural skin tone. After that, I'm going to take a yellow-based concealer, and I'm using yellow-based for the same reason, and I'm just applying it on the under eye circles. I'm not doing it in the triangular formation because it's not necessarily lighter than my skin tone, and I'm not using it to highlight. I'm also putting it on my eyelids. Then I'm taking this reddish, orangish brown color. Again, we're using a warmer color, and I'm using it to fill in my brows. After that, I'm going to take my favorite face powder and I'm just going to use it to set all the makeup and make sure it doesn't go anywhere throughout the day. For your office makeup, again, you want to use something a little bit warmer than your natural skin tone and preferably for every day, use something that'll protect your skin. Then I'm going to apply a eyeshadow base to my lids so that we can get started on that eyeshadow. Then I'm going to take the same powder and just pat it down with a sponge until there's a good layer of it on there. Then I'm going to take this light, light, pinky white color and smooth it all over my lid up to my brow bone. Then I'm going to take this peachy color and just smooth it all over the lid. Then I'm going to take this shimmery orange color, and you can use shimmer or matte for all these colors, really it's up to you since it's for every day and not for professional photos. And I'm just going to swirl that in the outer corner just to darken it up a little bit. You don't want to darken up the eyes too much because fluorescent lighting can sometimes make the eyes look a lot darker than they are. Then I'm going to use the darkest brown shadow and pretend it's an eyeliner. And I'm going to use with the eyeliner brush to create a very soft, smudgy line. And I'm even going to create a small little wing on the outer corner. And then I'm going to attach the wing to the crease of the eye so that it makes a really pretty little V. And then just to make sure that V is not too sharp, I'm gonna blend that out with a blending brush. Then I'm gonna take that warm color that I used on my brows and I'm going to smudge it just below the lower lash line. Then I'm gonna take a Q-tip and I'm just gonna get rid of any extra moisture that is in the waterline. And then I'm going to apply a concealer stick in the waterline. That Q-tip will make it sure that the concealer stick will last a lot longer. Then of course, just a normal coat of your trusty mascara. Now because fluorescent lighting tends to give you a bluish green pallor, I'm going to take my favorite bronzer of the moment and I'm just going to swirl it around the edges of my face just to warm my face up a little bit so that if I were to step into fluorescent lighting, I would look a little bit less like a zombie, which is the goal you see. And that's basically all I'm going to do for contouring. I am going to do a tiny bit of highlighting just with this liquid illuminator and I'm not going to apply any on the nose but you can feel free to do that if you want, it's up to you. I just don't like how it looks on me. Then I'm just going to blend it out with my beauty blender. And I forgot to apply blush so I ended up doing it after I did the rest of my makeup and putting the clip in here. But just so you know, I did the warmest blush that I have, the most coral, almost orangey color that I had. Which I don't have too many orangey colors since I'm so cool toned, but I used what I had and it still worked out fine. Then I'm going to take this taupey brown lip liner and I'm just going to line and shape my lips with it. And this works best for this look if you're already wearing lip balm. That helps the line to blend in much more and not look quite as sharp. Then I'm going to grab the concealer stick and I'm going to highlight the middle of my lips. Okay. 
Then I'm going to grab a lip liner that very closely matches my own lip color and I'm going to use that all over the concealer stick and the taupe lip liner. And that's going to give it a pretty, very natural looking sheen and if you want you can apply a lip balm or a lip gloss over it, it's up to you. But it looks very pretty, very natural, yet still very put together. And this is how that turned out with just that natural lip color. Now if you wanted to amp it up a bit, go ahead and grab a red lip liner, preferably one with a warmer undertone. I'm using Pumpkin from NYX, which is very orangey and, well, looks pumpkin-y. Um, this one, of course, is the taupe lip liner again, and I went over that again, and I went over this with the concealer stick again, just to make sure that the taupe and the concealer didn't get lost underneath all the lip liners. But yes, here is the orangey lip liner. And again, you're picking an orangey one because the cool fluorescent bulbs will sometimes make your lips turn bluish purpley brown, and you don't want that, and the orange will help to counteract that. So, you apply that, and you're going to apply a good layer all over the lips, and you could either wear that alone, again with a lip gloss or a lip balm, or you can do what I'm going to do and layer a lipstick over it. And because you already have the orange lip liner, you don't really need any more orange, so you can use an orange lipstick if you want, or you can use a cool one like I'm using. It still looks pretty warm toned, and because we took all that care with the lip balm and the lip liners, it still looks pretty natural. The lips don't scream at you. So that is the finished look. It's very natural looking, but very put together, very professional. I think people would take me serious in this look. What do you think? Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you watching. Please like this video, leave a comment, share it with your friends, and subscribe. Thanks again. Bye-bye.